probably advocate for what the Senate has passed, but also include uh, hoping for an extension of the deadline, because I know there's a lot of courses where um, students will have less than a third of their grade by the time the 50th class day rolls around. Rolls around. So that's an inclusive solution uh, that does add a benefit to that situation. Um, I, I think Chair Way might have a little more feedback on that, because I don't know what the what the timeline of AOC meetings and, and meetings they set up with Rep. Carter and all of those meetings fall. Um, but we'll start working on it right away. In regards to a big cohort, we've talked about that a lot. I'm curious to say what exactly happened in this We um, we ran into a, an interesting situation. Um, there were a lot of external drivers um, that caused us to look very uh, scrutinously at the search process originally. Um, so we've decided to, in, in effect, fail that search. We open an internal LR search, and we're planning to send two uh, students in March. Uh, I believe that appropriation request will be sent to Chair Grossman in the very near future. Um, while we're here, uh, I know there were some concerns, obviously, with the original request, and this will be significantly reduced, but were there any items in the airfare, hotel, and food, slash other travel expenses that were of particular concern? And that may be a question to answer later, but. Um, if there's something that's a, a major concern, one small item, I'm happy to work on a compromise if you can get some dialogue going between the Senate, etc. But I feel like it's an appropriate, particularly now, it's an appropriate amount for the Senate to find. ready? <laughs> All right, um, 806 543 9428 to our web audience. <laughs> 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 hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I expect um, that the type of policy that the university would move forward would involve a grandfather clause. Um, there are obviously students at Texas A&M right now who have yet to graduate who have used first year grade exclusion. Um, so to remove that before they've graduated, I think, would be quite unjust. Anyone else? All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, all right, just to keep you updated on a few things, we did meet with TPAC um, the other day. I'm at the Tuition Policy Advisory Committee, um, and myself and SVP Loveless both sit on that board. Um, what the um, topic of conversation was um, May's differential tuition. Um, and just to let you know um, what, what we advocated as a board, um, we advocated that um, the, uh, the proposal we could vote on was whether or not to change it strictly from a U3 and U4 to a U3 plus U4 and you have to declare a major. So that would get rid of um, you know, people who are technically sophomores but are classified um, U3. And so they would not be charged this differential tuition. We also made recommendations that if we can, we want to rebate or give some sort of financial credit to any um, <coughs> student that was affected by this and was um, wrongly charged by this um, former um, policy. And also we gave recommendation that um, in the future we would like to see some numbers on how um, each, how May could be affected financially by moving to a um, alternative models, such as a course by course um, fee for differential tuition. So that's what I recommended. Um, I know those bills have not. Um, gone on at, out of committee, but that's, I just want to let you know that's what I am advocating on your behalf. Um, 
next vacancies. Uh, congratulations, all you campaign senators. And, uh, and also, I would like to thank the officer team and um, Speaker Womack. Uh, this was, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, run um, vacancy um, committee review and then uh, filling and interviewing of vacancies. Um, it was done in a logical manner, um, despite the hecticness of actually getting the um, vacancy uh, applications to the location. Um, and just if you have any questions about how that's done and how we're kind of looking to do it in the future, uh, feel free to contact myself or um, Speaker Wilmack. Um, <coughs> next, um, we are making announcements for the PPC co-chairs. Sorry, this is that one I suppose. Um, the big event list. Um, EDO Womack has a one. Uh, we're going to do. Oh, Womack, sorry, Bowen. Um, um, has um, a list and he's going to you sign up if you want to do it with Senate. Uh, last year we offered, um, I think it was a half absence forgiveness for anyone who participated in a big event. We might do the same thing. Um, we'll keep you posted on that. But it's something I would really encourage you to really participate in um, because it is a worthwhile experience. Last year we got about 10 people. Um, it was Caden and Albright and Bob Scoggs and a few others um, that got, went out. Oh, yeah, and that's the two of us um, that came out and really um, brought this. So, and also, uh, mark it on your calendars March 2nd, the next Solar Tap, we've been hoping to grow as a group. So, if you want to join us um, in going to Solar Tap, we'd love to have you along. Um, and then, anything else I'm forgetting, Scott Bowen? Like, oh, sand volleyball. We have that full prowess in here, I'm very sure of it. Um, oh my God. And we're going to be showing that off. Uh, we're resurrecting the Leggy Slammers. Um, <laughs> 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 yes. And so we will be um, going full full force ahead um, with that. Full speed ahead, sorry about that. This book. Um, and also, Dodgeball. Oh, never mind. Dodgeball will come later. Um, and so, yeah. And for the record, no, I'm not giving out my number, so don't ask. Senator <laughs> <laughs> Smith. <laughs> um, if there is, um, I'm sure we can find a way to beat the hell out of them. Um, <laughs> uh, also, um, just so you know, we are in a competition to see how many big event people we can get, uh, volunteers we can get out in competition with the exec council. So please sign up for us. Absolutely, I'll get on that. Um, Chair Way. Speaker Womack, but I messed up enough on EDO Womack. <laughs> okay, 
Real quick, I know everybody likes my speech, this is the last one. All right, how many people show hands? Honestly, I don't need to skim through, but observed and read and you know made thoughts, if not physically, mentally, about the officer for it to be and all that. I mean, we email out, I mean, I'm just going to put the basic guys, because you guys are, are you all, will all be fun. But I mean, like, throw hands real quick. Who did that? It's not really that bad if you didn't. I just want to know, like, legitimately. Okay, those of you who didn't, come tell me why. If it's something to do with the reports, or like, I want to know if it's on us. Is it lack of consistency? I want to know why they weren't getting read. Because I want to make it more so that everybody knows what's going on in the committees. Okay, so I need reasons. I need help. Okay, next thing Aggie Haiti relief effort. Uh, I got tickets. Who we got? For the concert on Friday. And I can't give you asking forgiveness for buying a ticket, but I can guarantee you a spot in the afterlife. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come buy a ticket. Help out a great cause. What I can do, I'll be honest with you, and a ridiculous amount of asking for this, is if you come talk to me about volunteering to help me sell tickets outside of Coles and other places around campus for the next few days before we we're giving out ludicrous amounts of access to goods. I talked to IA and they're all in favor of me giving out this, not for buying, but for selling. And then finally, on 12 days of Haiti. Uh, there's a dodgeball tournament, and I'm not, I'm not giving absence forgiveness for it, but you're playing, all right? You're going to win. Matt Wade is going to win. Matt Wade is a pitcher for the club baseball team, all right? And he's one of the good ones, all right? <laughs> I don't know what organization we're going to be, but I'm sure there is some, like, sorority for, for blind people. <laughs> that, that wasn't a joke. That was, that was really? important. I was bad. Anyway, Howdy! Howdy! Follow up on the inappropriate comment. Okay, my name is Vicki Dobianski. For those of you who are new, I am the advisor of the Student Senate. I want to introduce myself to you and how I going to hear about this tomorrow in our one-on-one. -on -one, so um, I uh, wanted to let you all know that I'm here for you as your advisor. My office is 120 <coughs> Coldest. I welcome you stopping by and introducing yourself and letting me know if I can help you with anything. So uh, my email, if you want it, is vdobianski at camu.edu. The spelling is right there, so figure it out. So uh, anybody have any questions for me? Tell us one I the website. That was a really asinine thing for me to say. And you'll be getting an email based out apology for it. Shouldn't have said that. Are we going to do human for him? <laughs> Ask me after the video. <laughs> Are you always available for people who have concerns and questions, even if it doesn't happen to be during normal business hours? Or aren't you always open to other questions? Always is. Uh, uh, not always. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Do you have any questions for Kyle? No, not yet. Do you have All right. Do I have anything else? Yeah. Awesome, real quick, you guys can help me operationally after the meeting, gathering up your placards, putting the room back together, and then new senators, you guys will see me at the front. Uh, just gotta talk to you guys really quick. Again, good meeting everybody, ran really well, we didn't have to go late, so good job. Are we having announcements? Yes. Anything you like to say? What? What? And you can't what? All right. Woo! Really busy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Also, if you're interested in um, dealing the um, facilities, I'm the executive director of operations for the student center, but I'm also the co-chair of the party planning committee. <laughs> so, so um, a, few, a few things um, I want to touch on briefly. We're um, 
As said, we're planning to start going to Silver Taps together. So um, before each Silver Taps, there will be an email sent out um, saying where we're meeting, when we're going, so we'll probably just meet in front of the list a few minutes beforehand and walk over there. Um, we're putting together teams for dodgeball and uh, for sand volleyball, and we're doing big event. So um, in order to sign up for big event, you do get absence forgiveness for going and serving. And uh, a list will be here after the meeting. Just come up and sign your name on there. It, uh, you, you get a free t-shirt. You get a free t-shirt if we're among the first 4,000 people to sign up. So, so if, if we get our list in before everyone else, we get a free t-shirt. So, uh, Rachel Thornburg. So the list will be up here. I hope everyone signs up. Uh, you get you get access for you whether you go with us or you go with another group. So as long as you go to big event, you get the access for you. Thanks, Giga. Giga. Uh, current core members and dead zips. Any, basically, anyone that has a pair of these laying around. We have a core, there's a, there's a raffle going on for the Trash Children's Hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, just go by dorm four, first deck, and buy your ticket for $5. So we really appreciate it. All the members in the rest of the Trash Children's Hospital. So, uh, what? Somebody that's got some boots laying around, go, go buy a ticket. No, it's fine. Who talked about it? A handcrafted boot case. But I mean, like, I'm just uh, most terribly dead zip has boots put in the bootcase. So there you go. And, and anyone, freshman through senior. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an exciting primary coming up March 2nd, but after that there is a May 8th election involving the City Council College Station, and we have a student, 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 student running for place two. These are voter registration apps, I have them, they are available, so please grab one from me. If you're not registered, if you live here for 30 days, you are eligible to register. Thanks again. Yeah. Chair Simmons. Chair Wilson. Chair Dick. Chair Way. Chair Fields. Chair Fields. Senator Rogson. Senator Halsher. Senator Rogson. Howdy. Wait, Senator Halsher. You're a junior, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Senator Rogson. <laughs> Mark me on that. Senator William. Register to vote. Senator Thornburg. Howdy. Senator Adnett. Senator Van Hook. Howdy. Senator Big Bag. Howdy. Senator Smith. Senator Devon. Howdy. Senator Devonport. Senator Caroline Bowen. Who said that? Guys, order or call the roll. Senator Yagi. Senator Whittington. Senator Strickland. Senator Scott Bowen. Senator Smith. Senator Rousseau. Hey, hey, will you Senator plug all that stuff down there for me? Senator Walker. Like, I'm plugged up. I'm plugged Senator Zaria. Senator Reza. Senator McCray. Senator Usher. Senator Taylor. Senator Cagle. Senator Lacey. Senator Bell. Senator Fitz. Senator Caperton. Senator, Senator Lara. Senator Cropper. Senator Thomas. Senator Russell. Senator Abernathy. Senator Griffin. Senator Hassan, Senator Becerra, Senator Ibrahim, Senator Barron, Senator Albright, Senator Thompson, Senator Thompson, Senator Herman, Senator Slack, Senator Rogers, Senator Bowman, Senator Humana, Senator Agarette, Senator Messer, Senator McDuffie, Senator McDuffie, Senator Parsons, Chair Grossman, Senator Rhodes, Senator Anderson, Senator Bramlett, Senator Crumpley, Senator Liska, Senator Thamer, Senator Thamer, Senator Landis, Senator Hodge, Senator Harris, Senator Kraut, Senator Ledger, Senator Spars. Roll. <coughs>